M6TLU. Terry with you. Going to show you a really nice Johnson Challenger and how I did a push to talk modification to it. And at the end here, we'll put her on the air and you can hear it. Thing works great. Funny thing is about this transmitter when I got it, none of the screws are installed in the front panel and there's no evidence that they had ever been installed. And I didn't see any evidence that this thing had ever been used. So I think I got a real diamond in the rough here. So stay tuned, we'll go through the push to talk, and at the end, I'll give you a schematic so you can do the same to yours. This video is going to cover the installation of a push to talk circuit into a Johnson Challenger. So here is the uh, components I ended up using. I built a uh, homebrew 12 volt DC power supply, which is feeding an old uh, Potter and Brumfield open uh, frame type of relay. For my push to talk mod, I elected not to use the voltage divider circuit that's in the Johnson manual. Instead, I made up a homebrew 12 volt DC power supply which feeds a Potter and Brumfield relay here, open frame style. And I did install, per the Johnson manual, the crystal socket for the TR switch and the two pin Johnson style mic connector. Also uh, added some components that are not talked about in the Johnson manual. One being this 2KV.0022 cap. And then off of the relay, I've got this 680K resistor that bleeds off the high voltage when you unkey. I've got a schematic here. I'm going to page to that and you'll see why I did it. But right now we'll check out the function of the transmitter on CW and AM. My meter right now is connected to the TR switch output. So if I go over to CW, you'll see that gives you the voltage to key your uh, DAO key or whatever type of relay you put on it. So we're in CW right now, and I've got a key hooked up, okay, and watch the little meter. So when you key it in CW mode, going between standby and CW, you see the relay pulls in. Does the work of the original operate switch. And now I've put the Challenger in phone position. I've got a D104 hooked up. Same thing, we'll go over here. See it keys the relay. Also turns on my TR switch voltage. And then we talk away into the mic. Works great. All right, going back to these added components, this cap and this resistor. The reason I put them in is when I originally installed this, go to the panel meter here. And I was keying it up in phone. Okay. I was seeing when I unkeyed, I would see some abnormal plate current. It would hover around 125 and it would bounce back and forth when I was unkeyed. At that point, I looked at my relay and I saw arcing between the contacts. So that's why I added the additional circuit. So here's the Challenger on CW. I'm running a old Brown Brothers key and a Katsumi keyer. Okay, and we're monitoring on a National 303. So here we go. And here it's got a great tone. I don't detect much of any warble in the signal. Uh, once again, we got the Challenger. Now this time we're in AM mode, listening on that same 303. So there we are. Nice clean audio. And nice push to talk. Can't beat it. Man, she's crystal clear. This would be a great little radio put on AM. Well, so there you have it. Another cool vintage Johnson transmitter back in action. I'll be producing another video showing it on the air. But at the end of this video, 
um, take a look because I'll post the schematic. And if you have any questions, you can get a hold of me through YouTube and I'll tell you how to do the push to talk mod. But it's pretty straightforward. But with the way I did it, it's safer and it works excellent and uh, transforms your challenger to the radio you want it to be. Hope you enjoy the demo.